what's up guys so if you've recorded a lot of footage in landscape and you're looking at a way to convert that into a vertical aspect ratio for uploading to instagram or even tiktok or anything like that then this is the perfect tutorial for you i'm going to be using final cut pro x version 10.5 if you have version 10 or higher it should be absolutely fine if you're new to final cut pro this is the perfect tutorial for you on how to do that so i have a couple of methods so let's dive straight in Right, so the first thing you need to do is create a new event and have yourself a new project. So I'm creating a fitness clip project. So in the video drop down here, you can see there's an option called vertical. If for any reason you don't have the vertical option, maybe you have an older version of FCPX, then you can go to custom. You will have 1920 by 1080. All you have to do is flip it around and then have 1080 first and then 1920 second. That is the aspect ratio that you will need for Instagram stories. I'm going to select vertical and I have a drop down that does that for me. So I will select that there and then I will click OK. I will give it a project name running upstairs and now I will import my footage. So I have four clips here. I'm going to add them to the timeline. Now, if you go into the timeline, you can see that there's a lot of black space on the top and bottom of the clips. So the most common way to get it into vertical mode is obviously you will have to zoom in quite a lot. So on the right hand side parameter panel here, in scale all, I'd recommend just going up as much as you can. So 320% it will fill the screen for me. But as you can see, the person itself has now been cut off to the right hand side. So then in the position parameter, I will drag the X axis a little bit to the left. And that works for me. I wouldn't be able to use the Y axis because I've only scaled it upwards to the point where it just fills the top and bottom of the screen. I would need to then redo the same adjustments for the rest of the clips. One quick way to do that is if you select the first clip where you've made the adjustments, press Command C for copy, select all of the following clips and do Option Command V, which will paste the settings into all of those clips. So as you can see, if I hover over those sections, they all maintain the same parameters on the right hand side. But of course, you may need to make further adjustments. As you can see here, I'm not seeing anything other than steps. So I will need to change the X position here so I can see the girl running up the stairs. So here I will move the clip a little bit more like this to see which works best. That seems to be fine. And I will do the same adjustments for the other clips. Lastly, because you are going to be uploading this to Instagram, you may have a 30 second limit for the reels. So you need to trim these clips down to make sure the whole timeline completes within 30 seconds. So I will quickly do that here. There we go, everything is in 29 seconds. So now this clip is ready to be shared. So I will export this, hit the button on the top right hand corner, click on master file, click next. I'll save it to the desktop. Before I show you to you guys how to transfer it to your phone and upload to Instagram, there's a second method that I can recommend to you guys if you wanted to maybe not zoom in too much and crop off a lot of the footage. Rather than leaving a lot of black space in your Instagram stories or reels or wherever you're uploading it to, then there's another nicer way to upload it so you maintain the full aspect ratios of your landscape footage. So let me go ahead and showcase to you guys how to do that. I'm going to remove all of these from the timeline and I will re-add all of them again. You'll see it goes back to them having a lot of black space. Now there's an external third party plugin which you can add as a title, which I can recommend to you guys to download to make it a lot nicer. That plugin is called M Vertical. The link will be in the description below of downloading it. It's absolutely free and then you can install it onto your Final Cut Pro X. All you have to do is drag this title over the clips where you like it and you'll see it will create a very nice blurred background. Now there's a lot of adjustments that you can make here if you don't want to cut off the actual main footage. So I've selected the title and you can see in the parameters on the right hand side, you can play around with the background blurriness, positions, opacity and all of those kinds of things. So for example, on this one, I can change the background scale to be reduced or I can zoom in a little bit more. That's irrespective to the main clip. The opacity, I can just bring that down or make it fully black again so whatever darkness levels you'd like to have for that you can adjust that there the background blur you can make it very blurry or almost like it's natural footage again very nice adjustments you can make so you can bring the position 
of the background down a little bit and let me show you how this looks. You can see it's quite nice. You maintain a lot of things in the same frame so you wouldn't have to worry about cropping or zooming your clips to cut out a lot of important parts of your videos. So that works very well. What I can do now is showcase to you guys once you've exported the file and you're in a position where it's ready to go and you're ready to upload to Instagram, this is how you will transfer it to your phone. So I've exported this to my desktop. What I will do is I will go into AirDrop if you have an iPhone and I will simply just send it to myself to my iPhone directly like this. And there we have it. Works absolutely great. If you don't have an iPhone, then what you can do is just transfer it via a cloud account if you have Dropbox or Google Drive, but there's plenty of cloud services online that allows you to send large files. I'm sure you have a way very easily to transfer it to an Android phone as well, so that's not a problem. Now, if I go into Instagram, let's go ahead and upload that reel. So I will select it from the gallery, click add. The other thing to remember is when I go to add this, there's an option here to also share to the feed. Now that's another bit of a complexity where if you do share to feed, it will crop off another part of the video as well because it will go into the maximum resolutions that will be displayed on your profile. If I show you here, these are the Instagram video post dimensions and resolutions that is accepted. And of course, Instagram supports uploading to your feed in the complete landscape proportion. So the aspect ratio is 1.91 to one. You can do that perfectly fine. But then you can also do vertical videos that will be cut down to four by five ratios. And that is an approximate dimension of 1080 by 1350. If you wanted to make sure that your reel is shared to your feed as well, but also comes out perfect with nothing cut off, then you can also do some adjustments in Final Cut Pro X as well to make sure is compatible for your feed and not just for your stories. So to do that, what I've done is I've created a blank image in that same aspect ratio, 1080 by 1350. I'm going to import this file that I've created as a 1080 by 1350 image and I will just drag this on top of the timeline. Now if I just make that across all of it, what I can do is then use this as a basis to see what is within that frame. All I need to do is just bring the opacity down of this so I can see the actual footage. But this will give me an idea of what will be displayed inside a feed in comparison to what will be displayed inside the actual reel or Instagram story. So that's a very convenient way to make adjustments in Final Cut Pro, whether that's the positions, the scaling, the background blurs or whatever it may be, you can do that. Then export it and transfer it to phone exactly the same way that I have. Once it's done, you're pretty much ready to go. So that was a tutorial guys, hopefully that was useful. If you have any other questions, drop them down below. If you get stuck, I'll try to help you out. I've also got a playlist of all my previous Final Cut Pro tutorials that you can also check out as well. So I also take requests. If there's anything else you'd like me to showcase for you guys, let me know. Otherwise I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.